Uh, in this video, we look at how to solve exponential equations that cannot be reduced to two terms. Uh, in part one and part two of this series, we look at uh, uh, equations that uh, either have two terms or can be reduced to two terms. Uh, at the end of uh, the last video, we uh, looked at uh, this uh, uh, equation here which we tried to reduce to two terms uh, without any success. So let's see how we can solve uh, this equation. So we've got 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 2 to the power 1 plus x is equal to 5. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, Okay, so we write this as uh, uh, 2 to the power x times two, the, 2 to the power 1 as we've already done. This one, 2 to the power 1 times 2 to the power negative x. Um, the second term we can write This is times 2. We can write as 2 times 1 over 2 to the power x. And then if we multiply everything by 2 to the power x here, um, so what we're going to do is uh, multiply by 2 to the power x. Uh, then our equation is going to look like this 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x times 2 for this one then for this one 2 times 2 to the power x over 2 to the power x uh, maybe let me just uh, write the other term in a different color uh, So this is the uh, term that we are multiplying by. So 5 here times 2 to the power of x. Um, and then what's going to happen in the first term, um, we can write this as 2 times 2 to the power x squared and for the second term um, these things will cancel out so that's just going to be two and then for the last term um, this is uh, just five times two to the power x um, then if we bring in every every everything to the uh, left hand side this is 2 times 2 to the power 2x that's how we can write it minus 5 times 2 to the power x plus 2 and then if we let 2 to the power x be a new variable say u then u squared is 2 to the power x squared which is 2 to the power 2x which is this term here so our equation is going to become 2u squared minus 5u plus 2 which is uh, now a uh, quadratic equation that we can solve um, I've tried to solve this by factorizing um, both of these are going to be negative um, so if we put 2 here that's going to be minus 4 and then minus 5 so from this we see that either 2 minus 1 is 0 2u minus 1 or u minus 2 is 0 this one is going to give us u is 1 half 
oh this one gives us u is 2 but then remember our original variable is x in terms of x u is 2 to the power x so this is saying 2 to the power x is 1 half this one is saying 2 to the power x is 2 yeah uh, this is the same as 2 to the minus 1 so this just tells us that x is negative 1 this one is telling us that x is 1 okay uh, and so those are the solutions and then again since this is an equation you will find that uh, if you plug in x is 1 here it gives us 5 because that's going to be 2 squared which is 4 that's going to be 2 to the power 0 which is 1 and 4 plus 1 is 5 plug in negative 1 this one is going to be 0 and this one is going to be uh, 2 so that's how the first one uh, works out now going to part b you've got 3e to the power 2x um, so in part b 3e to the power 2x um, minus 7e to the power x plus 2 so the way this one looks is like this equation that we already have there so uh, it's got three terms one of the terms is the square of the other this one is the square of this one so again we can um, convert it into a quadratic by letting u be equal to e to the x then u squared is going to be e to the 2x so this is going to be 3u squared minus 7u plus 2 equal to 0 which we can factorize again these two need to be negative if we put two here and one here then this works out okay so either three u minus one is zero or u minus two is zero gives us u is one third and this gives us u is two however in this case u is e to the x um so and then um taking lin in each of these is just gonna give us uh, x is lin three here or x is lin two there. Um again these things we can uh verify by plugging in here let's just try the x is lin 2 1 so x is lin 2 we want to plug it in the place of x here um, so it's going to be uh, 3 uh, then e uh, to the lin 2 lin not tan then 2 oh it's actually 2 times that uh, 2 lin 2 and then minus 7 uh, e uh, to the lin 2 so lin 2 there and then plus 2 plus 2 this should work out to 0 um, that is actually zero it's just that the um, this calculator is not able to handle this I'm actually going to do it here 
um, uh, using properties of logs. So I've got 3e to the lin 2 minus 7e to the lin 2 plus 2. Uh, 2 lin 2 is the same as lin 4 and then uh, so this is going to be e to the lin 2 plus 2 uh, e to the lin 4 is just 4 and then e to the lin 2 is just 2 so this is going to be 12 minus 14 plus 2 and this is equal to 0 okay now um let's go to the third one so in part c we've got 9 to the power x plus 2 equal to 3 to the power x plus 1 so in part c 9 to the power x plus 2 is equal to 3 to the power x plus 1 just to confirm um yes okay so here we notice that uh, 9 is 3 squared so this one so we can write this as uh, 3 squared to the power x if we bring this one to the right, left hand side um and so this is the same as 3 to the power 2x minus 3 times 3 to the power x plus 2. So this now is a quadratic in 3x. So I'm not going to use the uh, let u um, equal to uh, root this time. I'm just going to write this thing like this um, so um, since this is plus and this is minus both of these need to be minus and uh, we need three of those ones so if I put two here and then I put one there then this should work out okay so um, this is telling us that 3 to the power x minus 1 is 0 or 3 to the power x minus 2 is 0. 3 to the power x is 1. Or 3 to the power x is 2. 3 to the power x is 1 means that x is 0. Uh, this one is going to give us x is equal to lin 2 over lin 3. And uh, that's going to be the two solutions uh, there. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a chance to have a go at uh, these uh, remaining three. Uh, just pause the video, work through them. And then when you continue with the video, then you can compare with our solutions. Okay, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions of part uh, d e and f we would uh, like to thank you for visiting our channel and uh, watching our videos we do hope that uh, they are useful for you we do implore you to of course uh, press the subscribe button and support our channel so that we can be in a position to produce more material like this if you've got any questions or comments uh please uh we would uh would be happy to hear from you just post them in the comment section so for d uh we notice that uh, uh this is the square of this so if we let this one be u and this one is going to be u squared and so we can write the equation in quadratic form uh factorizing shows that the solution is either going to be u is 2 or u is 3 but uh, u is 3 to the power of x 
So that means 3 to the power x is 2. That gives x is in 2 over 3. And uh, 3 to the power x is 3 gives x is 1. Uh, here we uh, bring all the terms to one side. This and this becomes minus 4. Uh, then multiplying through by e to the x, this becomes e to the x to the power 2. That becomes 4 times e to the x with minus and that just becomes 3 and then this is now the square of this one so if we let u be to e to the x u squared is going to be e to the x squared the equation become quadratic becomes quadratic uh, which can be factorized so either u is 1 or u is 3 since u is e to the x so from here x is 0 from here x is lean 3 here we have got powers of x in uh, and the bases are 2 and 4 um, if we bring everything to one side and then we notice that uh, 4 is the square of 2 so this is 2 to the power 2x um, so if this is u this is going to be u squared so we're going to have 4u squared minus 8u minus 5 which factorizes like this so either u is negative one half or u is five on two however two to the power x is negative uh does not have a solution so um this one has uh, no solution uh this one the solution is going to be lean uh, five over two divided by lean two all right, thank you.